hello, Jen here, and I have a layout for you for the Stretch the Sketch series. You can see the sketch that we're using today from MK just right in that top left hand corner. And um, this one was kind of fun because it has some hexagons in it and you can see some kind of strips of paper or however you want to interpret that, maybe some washi going across and then some embellishment. And so I thought I've done a couple of double page layouts and so I'm going to shrink the sketch today instead of stretching it and I'm going to do another layout in my little COVID traveler's notebook that I've been working on. And so that is what the whole um, point of this series is if this is your first time catching it. We get a 12 by 12 sketch and we stretch it. So uh, whether you stretch it to a full two pages or maybe a page and then a little extra insert or whatever you want to do you're just going to take that 12 by 12 sketch and try to um, recreate it in a different size other than 12 by 12. So I guess a lot of us shrink the sketches too um, which is really fun actually because Working in a smaller size can can bring a whole set of unique challenges to try to fit in all the different elements from the sketch and things like that. In the same way that when you stretch, uh, stretch it to two pages, you kind of have to think about how how you want to, uh, you know, make it bigger. So um, this little insert just came with the Traveler's Notebook that I'm actually using. It's um, just plain white. So... I'm going to go ahead and use that as my background. I kind of like these colors of the collection I'm working with on the white. I think they just look really bright and clean and crisp. And so that's what I'm going to go with. So the collection I'm using is the In This Together collection from Close to My Heart. I have... So the collection that I'm using is from Close to My Heart. It's the In This Together collection. I got the paper pack and the stickers from Jen Smith. I will leave her links down below if you wanted to check them out and see if there's any of this collection left over. It's kind of their pandemic stay home collection. Um, and I just really like the colors. They're nice and fun and bright and vibrant. And the stickers are really great. I love close to my heart cardstock stickers. They're just nice and thick and they stick. Actually, at one point here, they even stick a little bit too well. I kind of rip some of my little um, hexagons that I have put down. They just, I love them. They're really nice, nice quality stickers. So I went ahead and started by picking just a couple of patterns from the paper, um, smaller patterns so that when I punch them, out in the hexagon shape you could still kind of see that pattern so there's yellow and there the purple one is little hearts and then a stripe and then some flowers and I only have this one hexagon punch so I feel like every time I do a hexagon uh, layout they kind of all look the same because I only have this one size I, I really should go and get another larger punch just you know like a really nice big one or I guess if you didn't have punches at all you didn't want to do that you could always cut them out by hand or cut them out with your silhouette or your cricket or whatever you wanted or just use circles or a different shape that would be really fun too it's kind of fun with the hexagons to piece them all together and come up with different patterns and and kind of you know put them together like a puzzle that is something that I guess you can do with squares and other um, shapes that have straight edges but it's kind of fun to just piece those together so I do like that part of of using this punch um, but MK doesn't have a ton of hexagons in her sketch they're kind of just really big and behind the photos so I didn't want to have too too many on on my layout either I just love how they kind of dot those bright colors around the page and make these little fun clusters uh, and then so here now I'm working on that little horizontal strip. So I think there are three of them in the sketch. I'm only going to go with one here again, kind of scaling things down. So I'm putting everything into a smaller proportion. And so I just cut the manufacturer's strip from one of the papers. It just has hearts going across it in all the different colors from the collection. 
And there is where you just saw me rip my little hexagons. I had put those two little phrases down at the bottom just to kind of, you know, gently place them there to decide if that's where I wanted them to go. But as soon as that bottom one stuck, it was going to stay there. And so to pull it up, it didn't want to come up quite as nicely. And I ripped it just a little bit, but that's not a bad thing because um, I do usually try not to push my stickers down until the very end. So it was partially my fault, but also it's never a bad thing when your stickers want to actually stay in place and stick. So I can't complain too, too much. But um, back to that little strip, I just went ahead and put those hearts right across the, the page to kind of give that element. And then I had one little teeny tiny sliver of paper from a layout that I posted on Friday. Um, it was, it just was sitting on my desk. I guess I missed it when I cleaned up my desk. And it's in this really kind of fun coral almost orangey color and I actually thought it would make a really good little strip to run along the hearts because the background of the heart uh, manufacturer strip is white so it obviously blended into the white paper and so that extra little darker color kind of makes everything just stand out that much better um so that's what that is. It was it was just a fluke that it was on my desk and it was a little scrap that I ended up being able to use. So that was perfect. Uh, and then once all of that was down, I'm now just putting down the embellishments. So in my traveler's notebooks, I try to go pretty simple with embellishments. I picked a couple of stickers. So I've got that little home sticker because obviously my title is Stay Home. Uh, and the picture is of... Fox and Luna and they're all snuggled up on the Chesterfield with a book and so I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling kind of talking about how during quarantine it was kind of nice to um, take a few of those little moments to just snuggle and chill and read a book and not have to worry about you know getting ready to go to the next thing and all that kind of stuff so um, that's kind of the the gist of this layout um, so the sticker sheet gave me that house sticker and it gave me those books and they have fun little titles like um, love in covid times and stuff like that and the the stay home is from the sticker sheet and then the three little hearts that I put in there too are also from the sticker sheet and then the little words down at the bottom all of that will be in the close-up so I was actually you guys can't tell but I was actually taking a class while I was doing this so there is a computer in front of me and I'm on zoom but I'm also scrapbooking, so it was multitasking at its finest. And sometimes that's just what you've got to do, right? Uh, so that is it for me and for my layout today. Please follow the links down below to see how everybody else stretched the sketch. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye.